If you haven't heard the big news, Microsoft has finalized their $7.5 billion acquisition of Bethesda. Bethesda is a game studio developing the very popular Elder Scrolls and Fallout series. When the acquisition was first announced, many gamers across the world were worried that future Bethesda games would be exclusive to Microsoft consoles. But Bethesda has said that all current exclusive deals with Sony will still be honored. So the upcoming games Deathloop and Ghostwire Tokyo are still coming to PlayStation. However, what people are really worried about are if the upcoming Elder Scrolls 6 and Starfield games going to be exclusive to the Xbox. Microsoft responded by giving a vague answer saying that some future games will be exclusive to Xbox and PC. But if I had to make a prediction, I would say that the Elder Scrolls 6 and Starfield will not be coming to PS5. But it's not the end of the world for PS5 gamers. You will still be able to play Starfield and the Elder Scrolls 6 without owning an Xbox. And there is also going to be options for non-PC gamers. Microsoft has committed to having all their games on PC. So if you already own a decent PC, you will be able to purchase and play Bethesda's future games on your PC. But what if you don't own a PC capable of playing AAA games? What do you do then? Well, with Microsoft Game Pass Ultimate, you can still play all of their games, which will include Bethesda games, on your Android phone through the cloud. So imagine being able to play the Elder Scrolls 6 anywhere in the world. Well, as long as you have a good internet connection. Microsoft is also working on iOS support. So hopefully by the time the Elder Scrolls 6 or Starfield come out, you will also be able to play the games on an iPhone. And if Microsoft really wants to compete with Stadia and Nvidia GeForce, they can release browser support for their cloud gaming service. So imagine being able to play the games on a $35 Raspberry Pi. The service is still in beta, so all the devices you'll be able to use with it are still yet to be determined. But for now, it is Android exclusive. Game Pass Ultimate does cost $14.95 a month, and you may not like paying to pay a monthly fee to play a game. But remember, you're not only getting access to one game with Game Pass. Microsoft is putting all their games on Game Pass. On top of that, Game Pass also includes EA Play, which gives you access to EA games like Madden 21, FIFA 21, the Battlefield series, and much more. With all that content, Game Pass Ultimate is probably the best deal in gaming out right now. If you've watched this far and like what you've seen so far, please support the channel by liking the video and subscribing to my channel. The support will be very much appreciated. So let's get back to the topic. So I talked about some good options for PlayStation gamers to play future Bethesda games. But what if you're a pure console gamer and don't want to touch a PC or a phone to play your AAA titles? And you also don't want to spend $500 for a Series X? Then why not just pair your PS5 with Microsoft's budget next-gen console, the Series S? That way, you will get all the games not coming to PS5 on a console connected to your living room TV. And at $300, you'll also save yourself $200. So Microsoft is giving everyone plenty of options to easily play their games. So PS5 owners, don't worry about the acquisition of Bethesda by Microsoft. You will still have the opportunity to play their games without an Xbox. Would I prefer Bethesda stay independent? Of course. But if I had to choose between Microsoft or Sony purchasing them, I would 100% choose Microsoft. If Sony had purchased them, then I guarantee you would only see Bethesda games on PlayStation. And that is far worse for gamers. Anyway, I hope this video puts you at ease about the Bethesda purchase. The more ways gamers get to play them, the better it is for everyone. Thanks for watching, and I'll speak to you next time.